G'day mate, Colby here. Welcome back to the Weekend League Recap. This is part two out of two. Get your popcorn, put your feet up, sit back and enjoy it because I've got all the highlights here, lots to cover. Cheers, guys. I've just had my first penalties of the Weekend League and lost. These are the ones that really hurt games like this. Um, I had opportunity uh, here with Ronaldo. I've even zoomed in and done the arrow when you're really bit hard to see. And yes, I did put it in the corner and not at the keeper. Um, and that's what you've got Ronaldo on your team for to, to go, come big time for you in moments like that. And then his De Gea. Uh, this is like the flashback De Gea just made this save in the game. And it looks a little bit better uh, in slow motion than what it did in real time. In real time, I thought Kimmich has just blasted this in the back of the net and we are ahead. But his De Gea makes the save there. <sighs> Maybe I should have gone the other side. But near post, as we know, is his, um, always usually the place to go. Um... So yeah, we, we lose our first game on pens. That's that's sad to see, but we'll move on. Um, eight wins from 11. Ugh. Yeah, let's keep your head, stay cool, on to the next one. Let's go, baby! Ha! Ah. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, huh? <sighs> Komen, again. Being my main man, bang. But then, he levels. Neymar, big run. He's through. Easy finish for Neymar. Maybe could have brought my keeper there earlier. Not good enough for me. A save by his to Stegen. Off the corner. Easy save. Doesn't even need to make the replays. Then Cruyff comes. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, the, that Cruyff is so, so good. I had a... Big time trouble trying to keep him out of the game. I made some subs at the end. I put Renato Sanchez, uh, I think, at centre back alongside Pepe. Seemed to work a treat. 2 1. I go through Mbappe, doing Mbappe type things. I need to talk about that. It was super sweaty. Um, the pass from Ronaldo was really horrid. It should have been way easier in his path, easy tap in. He then comes back again. Cruyff is through. And when Cruyff's gone, like near post, bang. Ooh, tough. But, Moses Daddy Simon, just being slick and rapid, nice cutback, and Renato Sanchez, he was big for me this game, brings it back, then Kent, then Kent, oh my word, Kent, there's a nice power shot by Mbappe, and Kent finds it, and at the end, the nicest goal of the game, but I just scored them, but there's no like instant replay, um, just backward forward, back and forth, and Mbappe just finds a big time space, and whacks one bottom corner, Kylian, um, so much better for me than Ronaldo, honestly. Like, Mbappe, I'm really a big fan of Mbappe's card. Um, so I guess that's what I lose out on when I do the highlights and people rage quit to a goal like that. But nine wins in the bag from uh, 12 games, so nine and three, which is usually my ratio on weekend league. Usually I sit around about that two wins per one loss type ratio. Uh, but it's super sweaty this weekend. Four hours and 44 minutes to go to get at least five more wins so five wins to go let's do it Ooh, i lost on pens again um yeah even game it was a very even game um I he wasn't a very good pen taker either i had the lead for a moment and it was a really horrible pen by me um yeah uh Koba, come on bro it's two wins you've Coughed up now on pens. Foot champs may be the end of me. I don't know if I can play this anymore. I honestly don't know if I can deal with any more of this, to be fair. I sold my Ronaldo. I brought in Messi. I just had a tap in with Kent in the 92nd and he took a touch. The lag is beyond bad. You are witnessing Cobb's demise. This is insane. I am stuck on nine wins. And now I have lost five games. Some games you want the, the win a lot more than others. That was one of those games. I went down 2-0 in the first eight minutes. You know when it's gets in that game mechanic where you just cannot get near the ball at all? Whether it's like a lag thing or just defensive positioning, attacking positioning. Uh, and this one here, yeah, I'll just cut open. I couldn't get near him from kickoff. Every single player couldn't get near the ball. Um, Dan James being really rapid and just getting to the back post in front of Bodo Carlos. It was a nice cross. 
and a good near post finish. So um, credit where credit's due. But the Messi that I brought in in place of Ronaldo, because Ronaldo hadn't scored in five games for me, um, putting away a finish that I don't see Ronaldo putting away, honestly, on his good, like his left foot there, a nice run, but then just really crisp and just slipped past the keeper. Uh, so absolutely love to see that uh, after I've lost like almost 40k on Ronaldo selling him because uh, I bought him at peak and sold him at the wrong time. And then Moses, Daddy Simon, being Moses, uh, propping up in the box and um, that five star weak foot just, you know, you can hit it wherever the opportunity presents itself. So my daughter's in the background, you're being my, uh, my cheer squad right now. Oh, one's pulled my headphones down. And, um, and then Messi, again, being Messi and, um, and just, yeah, I know if I got to his, his left foot here, I could smack that one near post. And then to finish things off, we managed to get ourselves a pen with Komen. Look to the right, look to the right, look to the right, and pull it back to the middle at the end. Um, one of my favorite strategies, and his Courtois also made a pretty good save as well, I believe. Um, off of, I uh, know it was off the line by his defender, so Messi nearly had the hat-trick, but um, a good clearance there. So we get the win, we're back on track, and hopefully, hopefully, um, we can get to that 11 wins off the next game. We hit 11 wins in that game. Uh, man of the match performance by Simon. Interesting opponent, the way he, that he played. Uh, at centre back, he had the Laporte that was the unlock, uh, Red Nine Golan, and the Prime P uh, Puyol that you can get through Icon Swap, Skrincha. Just a weird like way he played. He pulled the keeper out every single time that you went into the attacking area. He pulled the keeper out immediately. So it was kind of weird to adjust to, um, just constantly the keeper running at you and trying to like find the cut back and so on because you can't score headers this year. But we won and um, actually scored in the 90, like third minute with Simon. Uh, just kept my cool here, found the gap and, and he slot that one away. But you can see how he's pulled the keeper up real quickly and um, you might see that on Komen's goal. Oh no, it was a pen, um, so. Uh, he grabbed a pen. I just do my usual thing that I do on pens. I aim to one side and then pull it back to the middle um, when I had the shot. But he had some opportunities. He scored like really, really late with Del Piero. I was trying really hard to block the center. But uh, yeah, through through all the, the gaps and so on, that's classic, um, classic 89th minute goal. Uh, Del Piero through, through the hole that existed. So we hit 11 wins, uh, which is good. We'll get ourselves at least one guaranteed or... We have the potential now to get over 84 uh, rated in our picks. I think three more wins to go for me. I don't see myself playing past 14 at this point. It's just, yeah, it's too too toxic, eh? There's too much effort that goes into it all. So we'll push on for gold three. Uh, as it stands right now, we get, uh, if I can see my rewards, a jumbo premium gold plays like a mega pack, one out of three player picks, and then that. So the next one we'll get two player picks. Otherwise, we'd have to really push on to 20. Um, to get, I and mean, it's still only two player picks, it's just one of four, and this is um, one of four, two. So 17 wins, you get one of four twice. You don't get to one of five with three until 23 wins, uh, which is gold three is where I want to get to. Elite three, sorry, is where I'd like to get to, but um, you know, I've already taken five losses at 11 a game, so I don't really see me taking seven losses out of 23 unless I get better internet and better at the game. Talk about your fast games. That one was a really quick rage quit. Actually, I was playing probably some of my best opening game. He could, he could tell that I was trying hard. Um, so six minute in rage quit. Suarez with an early goal, a little bit of a stop, heel to heel to get the speed boost and a lovely finish uh, in the back corner. He is a really good finisher this game. It's a shame about his pace. Uh, so window, window liquor zero goals, me one goal. And on to the next one. Um, they're always lovely to see. Only two more wins needed. Another man of the match performance by Komen. I switched to the 4-3-1-2. I just felt like that was the way to break this guy down with his drop back and that sort of thing. Um, we ended up actually subbing on Kent and then subbing on Kimmich for Kent to control that with like passing because I felt like between Messi, Simon and Bappe, like there's enough threat there to score goals, which there was. They all got one each. And Komen got like an absolute composure-driven goal. Um, I'll show you that now in the highlights. So this was against YouTube... Land landing games, landing games. So I don't know. I'll have a check of his channel and see, um, you know, how many subs he's got and whether he's he's any good. But yeah, he he um he took the lead early, 
and we managed to really bring things back. And we had like 13 shots, 12 on target. So he got the first goal with Mbappe, just typical Mbappe, bumpage and, and bang near post. You're not going to stop those. Uh, I then brought one back with Simon. Uh, back stick, early cross, and uh, lovely finish by him, just bang in the corner. Um, didn't really need much there. I was surprised David Alba has 75 shooting on his um, shapeshifter card, and he wellied that one into um, the side. And that was on his right foot, and correct me if I'm wrong, but David Alba is left-footed. So, yeah, anyway, um, he, so he takes the lead 2-1. He then makes it 3-1. And I thought to myself at this point, after Mbappe rides the bump, double bump, and, and whacks it in, just to take the pressure off, play, enjoy my game. Uh, Mbappe, I thought, would find the post there. But then Messi uh, picking it up and slotting it away. I've really enjoyed having Messi in my team as opposed to uh, having Cristiano Ronaldo in there. I'm glad that I made that change. So Kimmich wins the ball back here. I thought I'd try a power shot. I have scored a lot of shots with Kimmich and we miss. And then again, just being super patient, trying to find the right opportunities. I thought that Simon would slot that one. Maybe I should have driven it near post. Um I'd say probably a pro player there might have driven that one near post, but I went for the finesse far post. He's been pretty consistent with his finesses for me. Uh, Komen coming up clutch. I was just basically smashing B here um, to get a tap in with Sanchez, and Komen just shot and, and, and absolutely um, like, just slotted it in the gap. Like you'll see here, there is a perfect gap, and he just goes, thanks, Sol Campbell. Bang, in he goes. He, he, he smacked that one. Um, and Mbappe then coming up clutch right at the end for me. And yeah... Mbappe, he has he has really good finishing, really really good finishing. So that was it. Um, we we make a nice comeback and um, yeah, one more win to go and we have fourteen wins. So it's all I need. Well, lads, we did it. That's fourteen wins again. I went to the four three one two this time with uh, Mbappe, Simon, Ken up front. I didn't take Ken Dolphin, put Kimmich in. Uh, Rage quit at five one in the seventy eighth. The one goal you won't see is a just cut back to Komen for the drive after Mbappe flew through. Uh, this is the goal to really seal it. And after this, I was like, yeah, we're super comfortable here. That PK, PK the team of the season one, like he has good defense, like defensive qualities. But at this point in the game, if you're rocking like someone at center back with 74 pace, like I really deeply considered t- taking uh, Puyo or Icon moments because um, he has like 99 defending and stuff. But 74 pace at center back, like honestly, you'd better served um, just having Joe Gomez because of his pace, honestly, with the shadow. So... Um, yeah, I, every time I see someone at centre back with that PK or like the um, oh, Godin card as well from the community team of the season, I'm so happy. I'm just like, yeah, cool. I'm gonna pump it up the guts and just do you for pace constantly. So Mbappe was a bit of a handful in this game. Uh, he he had goals and misses and all sorts, but this guy really just couldn't live with my Mbappe and. And, um, yeah, a bit of a poor miss there. I should have gone near post. I really need to learn how to go near post. This Akadi card, I've played this Akadi card probably three or four times. And um, it reminds me a lot of that Diego Costa uh, flashback or, you know, the one that came out with, like, really low agility and balance, but 99 strength, 99 aggression, 99 composure, 99 ball control. This Akadi card reminds me of him heaps. Uh, Messi has been a delight for me. It's just, like, He's so versatile as, you know, Ronaldo is like your out-and-out striker. Messi, he can play cam, he can play center mid, he can play wing, he can play everywhere. And he just seems to have just that that timing and that that other players don't. And Moses is, yeah, that was a nice pickup, really. Um, I didn't expect to get him out of the pack, and I've been very happy that I've had him. So I have 14 wins on the board now, I believe, unless I am counting my chickens. No, 14 wins in, so gold three, also known as elite six, um, by some in the FIFA community. As to whether or not I play on for another three wins in the next hour and 47 minutes, uh, I don't know. A lot of people will rage quit early in this last bit because they haven't got long left. Uh, As it stands, I get two mega packs, a rare pack, and then I get two picks, one of three if I get another three rins on board, I will get one of four in my picks and 45K as opposed to 30K. So the three wins, I get 15K and a better opportunity at getting um, Premier League team of the season as opposed to the Saudi League, which I believe will come out tomorrow. Uh, So whether or not I try and grind out another three wins, who knows? But that's in the bag. I can kind of um, chill now and enjoy myself. Uh, That was a big time grind. I hope you enjoyed this this little kind of vlog series of, of the games. Next time, I think I'll try and include the squads I played against and a few other things. But yeah, this was cool. 
So in the spirit of trying to get better at the game, I've played on past 14 and 5. Uh, I'm now 15 and 6. Uh, so I've played two more games. And I've been just trying to get better. So Mbappe and Simon seem like they're just really useful in that final third. Um, I hope this guy would rage quite a bit earlier, actually, so I get a few more games in before uh, the deadline closes. It was pretty even stats-wise, possession and, and ball play, like I dictated the play. You've got to have pass accuracy above, like, 88 minimum, I think, in this FIFA. Um, I don't know if there was any goals that were really, like, super noteworthy. This might not even make the cut. Um, Suarez driving back post. I know that another tap-in from Mbappe was a driven one back post. I think this Simon goal was pretty slick. Um, just that composure to the, the the ball roll there. I think a lot of people would have finessed that, and um, and De Gea would have would have saved that. But that little turn was quite nice, um, and he got the reactions to to get back and win it again. Um, I thought Kent would have just slotted that, but I don't have the best connection in the world at my house either. Um, so fall back there, and then um, this last this last Kent one was just basically a bit of Carlos driving down and um, and a cut and tap in. Messi actually missed it inside the 18 uh, in the sequence before that when he coughed the ball up. It was a lot of pressure from me. I did think he was going to rage quit significantly earlier than when he did. So now 15 wins from 20 games. Uh, 21 games, I think. So still nine games left, but there's only like an hour to play. I have to say that's probably the win that I'm most proud of this weekend league. My ELO is now 10, uh, I think, with uh, 15, 16 wins and six losses. So yeah, it's 10. Uh, this guy subbed on Doug Leash and took off Garincha and Del Piero, and they weren't the base icons either. He had Eusebio, um, Neymar's Player of the Month, the new Ndidi card, Kovacic's Team of the Season, Van Dijk's Inform, Bramos's Moments card, Prime, Roberto Carlos, the uh, SBC Sandro, and then Net Allison's Team of the Year. And um, yeah, big win. I went down 1 0 early. And I thought about rage quitting because, like, not rage quitting, but, like, just quitting is in the fact, like, he's got such a big team. But the whole idea of, of my um, channel at the moment is to try and improve, right? So, like, if you can't beat people that have better teams than you, like, you're not going to improve. So he had some big opportunities earlier and he could have definitely, um, you know, gone further ahead, but a bit of a miss there from Del Piero. Then his Allison made a save. So it was kind of, we'll find our feet early on, but he definitely had the momentum. Definitely was definitely better than me, like, at the early part of the game, at least. Um, he went ahead de deservedly and uh, easy finish, kind of cut me open there. And then Messi definitely like found the pocket of space here and was very composed. And um, I, I was I was trying to get it to Messi. I could see, like I was watching Messi's run and I knew that if I could get it to him, he could cut it sharply onto his left foot and finesse that top corner. Then after this here, just very composed by Simon to do the ball roll and then finesse. I thought it would go on the first time, but... Just feeling that composure, getting more games under my belt. Here in with Mbappe, I was like, all right, I can be composed here. Slow it down, stop sprinting, find your corner, um, just take your foot off the accelerator. So save at the end there by my uh, keeper to keep me uh, happily with that two-goal buffer. And then that's 16 wins now with 45 minutes to play. So hopefully we can secure 17 and get those extra picks. Not long left, so 16 um, and 8 games remaining. If I wanted to play 8 more games, which I'm not going to do. So if I was trying to get to 23 and hit Elite, um, I would basically need to get 6 wins from the next 8 games to hit Elite. Um, so that's the kind of end goal for the club. Obviously the squad's going to need to be better than this to hit Elite. Um, but we are getting closer, for sure. And um, hopefully I can secure one more win between now and the next 45 minutes. So it means that if I take... Heavy losses, I'll probably just quit out and try and keep searching. Nice Mbappe, nice. Hey, so I actually recorded that game. So I can see that one, but nice little composed cutback to Mbappe. Two goals for Mbappe. Really composed. 17 wins on the board. And that's it for me. That's enough weekend lead for one week. Gold two acquired. Um, a big grind for the day. Still some time left to play more, but I am done, boys. Definitely done. So there we go. Happy, 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 happy camper.
Okay, so that's the end of the weekend league for me. 17-6 and six was the overall record. This is the squad that I was starting games in. I was pretty much subbing in Kent every single game uh, in for Suarez. Uh, in the end, Messi was one of the big um, big strengths for me that I could pull strings with him. But as far as like the, the main man, the star of the show this weekend, it has to go to Mbappe with 18 goals and 8 assists in 22 games that he played. Uh, definitely happy that I brought him into the squad. Moses did well with 13 contributions as well. Um, you know, I'm not one of those like super players that, that are going to have heaps. But out of 23 games that I played, I think uh, 18 goals is definitely uh, a really good contribution um, from him. And um, Komen was man of the match countless times. He was great, and uh, and Kent was really good too. So I was very happy with the squad. Uh, Ronaldo Sanchez, I don't care if it's May, this man is still so good. Agility, balance, ball control, defensive awareness, and interceptions are super high. Aggression, strength, stamina, shot power. This guy is a tank. Uh, and yeah, he's he's really, really, really good. And that is that is my weekend league done. Uh, I'm going to be bringing in some big additions to this side soon. And I'm going to be grinding out to get... Um, my 10 icon tokens this week because I'm actually going to bring in uh, the baby version of Hullet uh, in for Renato Sanchez. I think that'll be a little bit of an upgrade there. Um, Hullet, five-star weak foot, and, and you guys know the deal with him. So it'll be a bit like Renato Sanchez, but slightly improved. And, um, and yeah, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And until next time, take care, and I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye.